Hi everyone, a viewer that goes by the name of Vegan Ripple Effect is interested in these four transportation shipping stocks. I'm going to go over GRIN, Grinrod Shipping, I'll get to the RSI and the MACD in just a moment, but first to the numbers. The stock ended the day at $22.22, .22. it is up 1.18%. The 52-week low, $6.63. The 52-week high, $27.10. Volume lower than normal with 413,000 shares traded. We typically see 495,000 shares traded and you really need volume in order for a stock to rock and roll. The market cap, $410 million. It pays a dividend yield of 13%. Taking a look at the performance for the week, it is down nearly 9%. For the month, it is up 11%. For the year, the stock is up a whopping 200%. Now, if you want to do a deep dive into the financials, you can click on this tab. Take a look at the overview, the income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow, and the stats on the company. Now, underneath the technicals, it's considered a buy for the day, and under the analyst rating, it's considered a strong buy. On tipranks.com, the average analyst forecast is $31. The low is also 31, the high is also 31. On wallstreetzen.com, the low is 20, the average is 20, and the high is 20. Well, we've already blown past the low of 20, because we are at $22.22. .22. If you were to pick up the stock at $23, let's just round up, and it goes to $31, that is a return of 34%. Of course, it could take a very long time to get there. It may never get there. Now, take a look right here. This is where we are at right here on the linear regression indicator. We are between two and three standard deviations. This is money, this is more money, and this is the jackpot. Taking a look back in time, right here, we basically hit the jackpot. And what happens when a stock hits resistance? Because this is a level of resistance, this is a level of resistance, and so is this. Well, whenever a stock hits that level, it tends to sell off because people are taking their profits, they are getting out. And what happens? It falls to here. This line right here is either support or resistance, depending upon where price is. And because price was up here, this is support down here. So it went up, hit back at support, and then it goes all over the place. And then right here, it hit resistance again. What does a stock do? People start taking their profits, it goes down, and then it rebounds, hits another level of resistance sells off and then here we are, sells off and goes down. So if this thing goes back up, it could move like this and then get here. But again, it could take a very long time to do that. So this is a target, that is a target and so is this. So look how that lines up right here at this level, four standard deviations. All right, let's take a look at the RSI. It is starting to go down. This is the level where it's considered overbought. People are taking their profits at this level. It cannot, you cannot sustain this level. It falls down, goes up and down, up and down. So right now we are, looks like heading towards 60 on the RSI and then possibly it could reverse to the upside. But this is hooking down, this is hooking down. That is not a good sign. This stock could take a pause, go sideways, before it goes back up again, if it goes back up again. One other thing I wanna point out is if you play patterns, I like playing the U-shaped pattern and I like playing gap plays. And to me, this looks like a U-shaped pattern that had developed right here. This is where the high was back in 2018. Right here is the U-shaped pattern. This down here is basing, barcoding, consolidating, whatever you wanna call it, and then look at that it hits this level. So it evened out right here, the classic U-shape pattern. That's what I see. I'm not sure if you do, but if you do, please comment below and let me know. Let's go ahead and take a look at this on the daily time frame. Again, this gives you different buy and sell signals. Let me erase this because now my chart looks like a hot mess and I can't see. All right, let's take a look at the RSI. Where are we? It is starting to go up. And this 
is still selling off. The, the RSI is going up, the MACD is going down. So it's giving me conflicting signals, but hopefully it will go to the next leg up over time. This right here is the next target for me. You have to get to these levels before you can hit this high. So that's where we are on the daily time frame. And if you are looking at this and day trading this, excuse me, yes, day trading this stock, we are right here. This is after hours. We are basically at this middle point. This is, this is the support level. This is the middle, the basing where a stock tends to just gravitate towards. And this is resistance up here. So we are right here. So to the upside is $22.78. To the, the downside, that is $21.56. Now, if you are using VWAP to buy and sell and enter and exit, whoops, let me get out of that. Here is VWAP. So we are in after hours above VWAP. The VWAP is at $21.99. To the upside, we are there right now at $22.22 basically. And to the downside, we are at $21.81. Taking a look at the RSI, it's kind of going sideways there. And the MACD looks like it is hooking down. So again, you need both of these to sh go up to show us that there is a sign of a reversal and hopefully that it'll, it'll shoot upward. But that's it for GRIN. If there is a stock that you would like me to check out, please comment below and have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.